price is. All right. Okay, bow. Disassemble. Got some bullets. You. You can have those ones. You. Just a few of them to, uh... Okay. Disassemble. Wow. Getting a lot of them. So I guess when you have, have a special dialogue option, you should use it at that point in the conversation. Because otherwise it looks like it goes away. How are you doing, by the way? You're fine. You are just... F oh, Vulture's Cry, however, is not quite so fine. And it's going to be a while before leveling up, so... How much does Vulture need? Vulture needs about 40. And... Actually, wait a minute. Can we remove that? Remove any status effects? Antibiotics. Oh. Okay. Oh, but it doesn't have that long. I'll, I think we can let it run out. Okay, status effects. I wonder... attributes. Just looking to see if any of them... I don't see it adding a negative anywhere. I'm just wondering if I let it run out, if it would permanently add an, a, a negative effect, but I don't see any negative effects on her at all. But let's do this just in case. Well, that's just descriptions. Okay, and it doesn't... So I think we would see something here. I think it would be red. Because it doesn't look like hovering over these gives you any additional information for a bonus, so... I think I'm just going to let it run out. Walter's Kai is no longer afflicted. Okay. Save the antibiotics for something perhaps I can't get rid of. But that doesn't mean Vulture's Cry still needs a, a bit of a, you know, bit of a fix up here. Yeah. Uh, 
Aha. Game Valor target. Red shoulder pads. Ooh, we get to play with clothing again. Uh, alright, you can have those ones. Actually, take all those. Vulture's Cry can have those too. Dirty pants. Alright, let's see how the clothing looks. I like them to be look a little bit more different than they are currently. Dirty pants. No, no, we'll keep the black ones. Or the other ones. Red shoulder pads. Interesting. Doesn't quite fit Val. And I can't put it on you. Yeah, I think I like that one better. I think it suits her a little more. <laughs> oh, it says Master Grenadier. I never noticed that before. They all say Master Grenadier. Why did it... I guess it has to do with their level. I thought maybe it had to do with their specialties, but no. They're all Master Grenadier. Okay. Oh dear. Everybody needs to reload. Let's do that. Oop. Actually, it was you I meant to do that with. I want to see. Yeah, I like that better than the other one. Now that it changed the appearance, I have to play with it. Get them looking just right. Okay, I think we're done this area. Where we currently are, over here. So I think what we're going to do... I'm going to scroll, go, look along the edge here. I think this is all... Oh, that's why we get to the Atchison camp. Okay. All done here, so I think it's this area down here is where we're... We still have to look around. We've been in there. Did we? Oh. Apparently we missed that. A slap bracelet. 
Okay. This is new here. Apparently we never looked around this section. Did we go in here? Actually, let's go in there first. Probably we've been in there. Table fulls, full, tables full of tools and train parts fill the yard of this train car. I think we've been in here. Uh, oh yeah, that's our... Uh, the reinforced personal safe. The combination lock. Yeah, that's that one. Alrighty, out, out again. It's an interesting looking building over there. The Story of John Henry, Part 3. I don't know if we even had a... I don't think we have a Story of John Henry, Part 1 or 2. Well, I guess we'll hang on to that for the moment if we can find Parts 1 and 2. We can read it all in sequence, otherwise I guess I'll read what we get. Interesting. Strange building. Hmm. Okay. Water not for sale. Oh, so that's what that is. It's water. Well, let's have a look inside. When man stops walking in nature, man go grows weak. Quarex. A weedy young man with thick glasses and various old 8-bit game cartridges and controllers hung around his neck as totems. He has Pac-Man tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> just under his shaggy blonde hair. He sports a neatly trimmed mustache-less goatee. Greetings, Rangers. Welcome to the Quarex Arcade, where we have all the latest coin-op games. To what do I owe this pleasure? Okay, let's see if anybody has or sees anything. No? Okay. Uh... How do you feel about the Desert Rangers? You guys are the best, always helping people. Do you need some help? Not much you can do unless you want to help fill out my game collection. I have all the old game systems except, except a CDI machine. Those are sure tough to find. They must not sold more than 50 of them. What's so great about a CDI? Ooh, it had one megabyte of RAM. What does one do with all that memory? <laughs> uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure, go ahead. Ask me anything. I can tell you all about my games if you want. I'm especially proud of my prized possession in the case behind me. What is your prized possession? That's my super scope. You aim it at the TV screen and fire just like a gun. Except without all the uh, actual killing and violence. When I found it, it was pretty badly messed up, but I nursed it back to health, little by little. I even made a couple improvements, 
I love that thing more than I love most people. Now I just have to track down some games I can use it with. Uh, we'd rather ask you about Rail Nomad. Oh, well, okay. I don't pay much attention to that Atchison's and Topekan stuff, though. Trains don't interest me. I just mostly play games. I can relate. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the train? Everybody wants the trains to run again, but I don't know. I'd have to move my arcade. Are you right on the tracks? <laughs> what do you think of the Topekans? <laughs> Topekans. Get it? P. <laughs> Uh, don't tell Master Kekaba I made that joke, uh, okay? How do you feel about Kekaba? He's our end boss. Hangs out with his mini bosses at the town hall. I'm afraid of him, but he doesn't ever bother me. I don't think he's ever come in here. Did you know he's only got one arm? Yeah, we might have noticed that. What do you think of the Atchitsons? They live in the other camp. I don't know much about them, except I've been told not to like them. They stole our golden spike, or something. What do you know about the golden spike? That's the Tobekan's totem. It's in a display case in the town hall. I think it would make a great bayonet. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Well, um, thanks for the help. Come again anytime. Uh, let's look at the logbook. Locate an ancient machine called a CD-I. We ran into a youngster named Quarix in Rail no Man's camp, whose only interest appears to be running a game arcade. His collection is almost complete, but he needs something called a CD-I machine, the rarest of all. With its plastic polish to a fine sheen, this toy is obviously the most prized possession in Quarix's collection. A faded label along the side reads, Super Scope. Well, while a gun itself wouldn't be useful as a weapon, the lens on the scope doesn't have a nick on it. It might serve as a modification to one of your firearms. Uh, it seems doubtful that Quirox would be happy with you taking it. Yeah, we're not going to take it. As much as, you know, maybe we can get him to, well, if it's his prized possession, he probably won't give it to us. But maybe we can trade him for it after we find his machine that he's looking for. This machine has the word asteroids printed on it. On the screen, a little triangle is being smashed by poorly drawn circles. This machine has the words Marble Madless printed on it. Is this a warning? This machine has the words Missile Command printed on it. Apparently the object of the game is to fill the screen with flashing yellow circles. This case displays various small electronic machines and cartridges on black velvet. You read names, Atari, Nintendo, Sony, Game Boy, and others. Uh, that's the asteroids one. Okay, so there's no extra stuff around back here to look at. Wait, was there two people in there? Or was there just one person in there to talk to? Or was it just the provost wandering around confusing me? Yeah, it was just the provost. Dang guy. tell everybody to reload just in case. Okay. So we've had a look around here. We are currently over here. So I think... Right, so that would be the, I think that's the Atchison camp. Yeah, because we came around back here. Okay.
Okay, got it. Get a little confused looking at the map and looking at this. So I kind of want to look over here. Oh, that's where we just were. Well, let's put them over here. So that's to the Atchison's camp. Don't want to go there just yet. We want to go down here. I know that in the bug fix log it actually said that they added um, a missing John Henry book, so I wonder if that's the one we found or if there is in fact more of them that we'll run into. So I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on the ground too to see if we see any new uh, diggable spots. Okay, those are all the disarmed ones. Been around here. Yeah. Some around here is where we picked up the provost. Okay. Over here. Okay, we went there. We looked at this stuff. And it leads back here, right. Time for it. Actually, let's do a proper save. It's been a while since we did a proper save. Uh, Real Nomads Camp 3.
these junkies seem to be trying be trying to make a little junky town out here when they're not busy staring glassy eyed into the middle distance. Go there. You go there. Stop. Okay. And here comes the idiot. you. Alrighty. Angela. Does that not cover? Alright. That can function as cover, though. That rock can function as cover. And you can get there too. Provost might bite it this time around. was a heavy hit. 83 points of damage. Oh yes, that, that was a very heavy hit. Alright. In turn, you don't like you being there. Put you in ambush. You Only, there's two of them left. There's another one coming. Another two coming. But I think we're going to be okay, so let's change you back to your pickaxe. Oh, 
wonder if you can ambush. I have no idea what that will do. Okay. Actually, maybe I should have put him here <laughs> to ambush. I'll do that next turn. With him. That would have been a good thing to do, I think. Okay, shoot that guy. Thirty points of damage. Okay. Mm. Let's go ahead and injure turn. All right, Angela. Did you do 22? Okay, now shoot that guy. Thirty revolver. I thought you would be within range of these guys, but you're not. Okay. Oh, now it now it's a place you can hide. Fine. Ambush. Weapon jam, dang it. Ha! Now you're in range, bud. Good job, Val. And... I guess we just end the turn. So we can't put her on. We need we need five. For both weapons we need five. Okay. Okay, let's leave her on that one. Okay, well let's put you let's see, if I move you Yeah, I think I'm gonna move you over because I'm gonna put try putting tack here. Okay, so let's move you there. Oh, wait, I forgot this guy. Well, I, there we go. Okay. Tack. Okay, well, let's unjam. Forty-one percent. Okay, let's try it again. Got him. And I guess I'm gonna move you up. Oh, you you were able to shoot him through there. Wow. Excellent shot, Vulture. Okay, he's out of range. And you are going to ambush, I guess. Oh! There we go. That's a good point, Das, and I could have let the Provest just keep shooting and either die or use up his own ammo if he has a limited amount. But, wow, oh well. <laughs> okay. So let's reload. You, I think I switched your weapon. Yeah, there we go. Let's reload that.
snag that. Let's give that to, to her. Hmm. She already has one of those, I think. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure she does. Twenty-four to thirty-two, thirty meters range. Yeah, that one has the longer range. Hmm. Well, thing is, is that one is so much longer range than this one. I kind of like that. This one does more damage, but it doesn't go as far. It does have more armor penetration though, four. This one has five. No, I think I'm going to keep this one as her long range weapon. some things to disassemble. Alrighty. Roll the day scope. Can I get a scope? Scope, please. Scope, scope, scope. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping. percent. Okay. Which explains why the junkies haven't opened it. take the chance. Forget the trap. Shrapnel flies and smoke chokes the air as the booby trap explodes with a near splitting blast. Fifteen points of damage. Okay, well that's not as bad as I thought it might be. Just for some ammo, huh? Alright. 
so this is not booby trapped. A working tumbler. Alright, see if we have better luck on this one. Well, not so far. <laughs> You can do it, Ivy. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There! See? I knew it. You could do it. Ooh, short barrel. Do not really want. More mobile phones and some ammo. Uh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's egg center serum. Don't know if we really need to be carrying that anymore. Alright, I think we are finished exploring this area now. Yeah. don't think we've missed anything. So I think it's worth now going back to talking, talk to Kekaba and that sort of thing. Although... Might... Um, let's see. Let's put them... here. I would just use the map to send them around, except for the fact I'm looking to see if we can find any more parts to that. That book. The John Henry book. Oh, here they come. Alright, so let's go around this way. I thought we could go around this way. Thank you. There. Stay out of no man's land, Rangers. That place is crawling with rail thieves. That that's that's lovely. We always need a human eyeball, I'm sure. Oh, did everybody come in? Yes. The meeting hall is low and long, made of rough wooden scraps of fabric, smells of smoke and sweat. The wind rattles the walls as dust and sunlight pour in through the cracks. There's an unusual number of one-armed men here. Don't think I read that before.
Another visit, Rangers? Yes. Yes, it is. Why have you returned? Ah. You know what? I'm going to tell him about this guy. Yeah, I'm going to tell him about the guy. There's a drug lab in one abandoned rail... In an... Oh. Small typo there. There's a drug lab in an abandoned rail car on the edge of town. Thank you, Rangers, but we'll take care of this on our own. Choppers, we have a drug dealer in one of abandoned rail cars. You know what to do. Goodbye. Keep out of our business, Rangers. Okay. Really doesn't want any help, huh? Alright, so I guess that's all we can talk to him about. I wonder, should we go back to that rail car? I think it was up here, wasn't it? To be honest, I don't really remember. I think it was... Hmm. Look at the resolved. All right, I guess I'll go up here. Was this the one? Here fell the brave ranger Tisdale in defense of the Santa Fe. Though they took our homes, he saved our lives. Though we are scattered, he will not be forgotten. Oh, we have something to dig there. So you know what? We're going here. <laughs> Might have to. Did I never? Hmm. I guess I never noticed that before. There's several of them wrong here. Did they reset them all? All right. Well, I guess let's start here and work our way back. Ah, story of John Henry, part one. Excellent. Maybe we can find part two. And then we can read the read the story. Okay, so there was there was one here, and then there was one there, okay.
So I wonder if that's uh, an actual uh, associated with that sign or not. I don't know. Right, where was... Okay, here we go. No part two. There's the playground. There's another thing over here. Okay, so we'll go there in a moment. A few small cracks bisect this old stone wall. Use a little force and the wall should come down. Of course cracking makes everyone's skin crawl, but the cacophony didn't come from what you were kicking. And, uh, don't think you can try it again. Nope. Um, yes, dynamite would probably do the trick. I agreed to Hassan. I was actually thinking about that. Um, come on, Provost. I'm trying to get him to move away from there or he's going to explode with the dynamite. Fine. I'll come over here and look at this first then. Is this where the, uh, no, this was a different place. Not the place where the junkie dealer was. Okay. There's the provost. Okay, let's get back to... Well, I kind of actually wanted everybody over here. Thank you. All right. Do we have... We have a pipe bomb. He has a pipe bomb. Mm. Oh, wait, no. He has TNT. Awesome.
You step on what appears to be a ladybug. You haven't seen one of those in ages. You might just have killed the last ladybug in existence since the war.